hot ham and cheese sliders. It's what's for dinner tonight. I know I've been telling you all week that this is like the easiest recipe ever. I mean, tonight it, it kind of really is. We're, we're just we're just making sandwiches. So in this house, we're all about some sweet Hawaiian, right? Um, so I get the Walmart brand. Walmart makes perfectly phenomenal sweet Hawaiian dupes to, you know, the brand I'm talking about. Hi, Dolly. She wants to talk. She's she's not happy. That she's not a part of this. Uh, so <laughs> so I just pick up the sweet Hawaiian buns, be it hamburger buns, hot dog buns, or the rolls. Whatever it is that we're going to use, it's got to be sweet Hawaiian. Um, I've already got a pack here that I have taken the tops off, got the bottoms in a pan. Gonna get ready to put this thing in the oven here in just a little bit. Now, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put mayo on the bottom. You can put mayo on the bottom of your sandwich, just like you normally would, right? The bottom piece of your sandwich. Now, she really does not like this. So not only is it not mayo, it's not Miracle Whip either. No, I mean, but it's it's, it's a Miracle Whip dupe. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, I'm telling you, I'm easy and cheap, all right? So I get this at Aldi. It's, it's their brand for Miracle Whip. Don't come at me for the Miracle Whip, all right? I know I'm Southern and I'm supposed to like Dukes, but I don't. All right, I don't. I I, I want my Miracle Whip. Um, I won't deny there's probably been a few relationships lost over this. Eh, it is what it is. <laughs> so, really and truly, we're just gonna spread that out on the bottom of those buns. Can't get any easier than this, guys. And yes, I'm using the back of a spoon. Yeah. Because it works. All right, there we go. Next, we're gonna lay down some sliced cheese. Uh, my family likes the white American cheese. I don't know why, but that's what they like. All right, so I made a rookie mistake this week, and when we got groceries the other day, I forgot to put a pink sticker on our ham. So uh, the oldest child ate ham with her dinner last night, so I had to run to Dollar General and pick up some more ham. That's all right. It, it doesn't matter. It's all right. So we are going to. I thought I had already opened that. Let's try that again. Okay, so um, we're just, next comes the ham. Just put some ham down on this, on each little, little thing we got going here in each little bun. We're going to put some ham on it, y'all. I'm going to use this whole pack of ham. There's only eight sandwiches here. There's five of us. We'll be lucky if I eat one. I do not know if the oldest is going to be home for dinner tonight or if she's going to feel like eating when she gets here. So, I I try to make sure there's a leftover for her, but we stop kind of waiting for her to be home for dinner. We're at we're at that point now at her age that um <laughs> she has a life outside of us. So, do I try to make sure that I keep food for her? That she's there's enough food left for her. Yes, I do. Uh, were there chicken and dumplings left for her last night? Hmm, there wasn't. It, there was. There was not even even <laughs> the smallest little bit of anything left in that pot last night. Between the four of us, we ate it all. And there were two can. I used two cans of biscuits and all that chicken. Um. So, yeah. Trust me. Make the chicken nuggets. <laughs> and then if you um if you like the pastry, then instead of doing the biscuits, do the pastry. You can get it. My Walmart. I've I've never been able to find the Annie's at my Walmart or any of the pastry like that. I always have to go to Food Line to get it. But, I mean, that's all right. <laughs> Hi, Dolly. I know, she's, she's really good. There's buns right here, and she hasn't stuck her nose up here and tried to eat anything yet. So, <laughs> I said yet. So, we're going to take um, some barbecue sauce now and just kind of run that over the top of that ham. Trying to get too much on there. We don't want it oozing out later. All right, that's good to go. Stick this in the fridge. If you've been around at all long enough to know, you know that we have a Samsung fridge and they're crap. Don't, don't ever buy a Samsung fridge. And, um, yeah, that's that's why we have the ice maker here on the counter because um, the ice maker in the fridge that we paid a lot of money for doesn't work. But that's a that's a whole other story for a whole other time. Alrighty, so we got all these 
um, mm, put the buns back on top. And I have taken a little bit of butter and melted it in here. And I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder in it. Yeah. Measure with your heart. She's so talkative tonight. And I'm just going to pat that on top of the, each one of them. If you've not yet seen my sweet dolly, um, I don't know. Go back and find some of the videos. She's on there somewhere. I don't know if y'all can, can see my Bugs Bunny <coughs> cup here. It's got Bugs Bunny and and there's Tweety and there's Sylvester. I've had this mug for as a soup bottle. I had it forever. I'm a huge, huge Looney Tunes fan. Okay, so this is ready to pop in the oven. I've got it uh, heated up to actually four, four something. It, it doesn't matter. I've got the tater tots in there right now. And there's about 13 minutes left on that. So I'm going to stick this in that oven with that at about seven ten minutes left for the tater tots so they'll both come up and be done at the same time so I just pop those in the oven and i just realized i forgot my microphone tonight so i hope the sound is at least halfway decent just look at that gooey look at it look at it look at there oh it is so good it's also very hot mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs>